hope my car mount stays up. I have a new one coming in the mail <laughs> from Amazon. I finally ordered one, but um, it's now later in the day. Welcome back to another YouTube video. I just got home a little bit ago and I got a pedicure today. I got a light pink and I was getting it for Valentine's Day, but it probably won't even still be on my toes by Valentine's Day. Yeah, I came home and I just had this urge to clean up my closet. I want to rotate all my hangers reversed because this helps me kind of gauge what clothes I'm actually wearing and what clothes I'm not wearing. This was actually on my ins and outs for 2024. So I'm going to do that, but I clean up my closet and I'm going to Plato's closet um, and Christian clean out his closet too. So I'm gonna go do that and start the new year fresh. Next, I'm gonna go through like my skincare products and some makeup products and just things underneath my sink that I'm not using that are expired and I need to throw away. I'm gonna make a pasta tonight for dinner. I put on the menu for the week, uh, the work week, um, because Christian and I usually eat out on the weekends. I ran out of memory. It's always something, um, but I put on a big pasta for the week for dinners and we ended up going to my nephew and I have a interesting family dynamic, but my nephew turned 30 yesterday. So we went and surprised the whole family and a lot of his friends and people like that all went and surprised him at a restaurant for his 30th. So we ended up not eating it. Anyways, I didn't really need to tell the story, but I have a nephew. I have couple nephews but three and then a niece and they're all around our age so my dad had kids and then some odd years later had more kids me and my twin and my younger sister so yeah I have an interesting family I have a nephew that's a year and a half older than me that's what's going on welcome back to another video it's now getting dark outside i'm gonna go to plato's closet i'm gonna go to the one that's pretty far because i always seem to have more luck at that one than the one that's like close to my house so if you live in orlando go to the one by ucf the college they just take so much more i feel like than the one on like colonial and by um baldwin park area that's what's going on now there's this weird light on my face but I wanted to start off the vlog. I'm gonna go run this errand and then come back and we're gonna make the pasta. I've never had it before actually. I just am trying to switch up food that we eat, like dinners and lunches. So we're trying this out. It's easy and a good comforting meal. So that's what we're doing. I feel like it doesn't look that good. All right. Thank you. Very nice. today I just took my hair out of a clip but I just made my coffee and I wanted to share these because I think they're so cute and I love stuff like this I am a sucker for stuff like this Rachel Ottenreath I watch her on YouTube and I'm sure tons of you know of her she shared this on her Instagram these st they're stupid I mean but they're so cute I just love stuff like this but these little straws that have little hearts on them for Valentine's Day so cute and i always drink out of a glass straw i just have plain ones but i thought this was so cute for valentine's day and things like that I'm not rushing the holidays but wanted to share those i can link them down below from amazon they were like seven dollars for a pack of a couple so
got home from running my errands, I went and picked up the clothes from Plato's closet that I took last night. Dropped them off at another Plato's closet. Put gas in my car, went to the grocery store. I actually went to Ulta and got more self tanner. And I'll just show you. Cause I feel like I don't really show my self tanner that I use every week, but I self tan every week. It's literally every Thursday. And I've been doing this every single weekend for like over, I probably missed like one or two weekends, maybe three weekends out of like three and a half, four years. I've, I'm a dedicated self tanner. I'm very, very fair skinned. Um, my dad, I take after my dad more than my mom. My sister is olive skin tone. She's really lucky, tans super easily. I just like freckle in the sun. I don't really get a tan at all. Um, when I was younger I did, but not not now. I literally don't tan in the sun and my dad has, has been getting skin cancer removed off of his face and I wanna say his body too recently. So I just know that it's best for me to not tan and bake out in the sun, especially if I don't get a tan at all. I'll get like a slight bit of color, but then it's gone. So I've been using this Bally Body One Hour Express and I leave it on for like three and a half to four hours and I put it on every Thursday night. So every Wednesday, I'll, it's like a, a routine at this point. It's like a joke at my, my job, my office. But every Wednesday night, I will exfoliate my self tan off, moisturize, and then the next day I'll come home from work and sit in this and wrap myself in a blanket and basically like edit YouTube videos for like three and a half, four hours. And then I'll rinse it off, put on, Lux Unfiltered Gradual Self Tanner and sleep in that. So it's like down to a science, but this is my favorite self tanner. It dries really quickly, so you have to work in small sections and work quick, but I like how it dries really quick and I don't have to sleep in it. I don't like sleeping in a self tanner at all. So I just leave this on. You can obviously only leave this on for an hour or two, which is another perk. So I don't have to leave it on for the full three and a half to four hours. But if you do leave it on for one hour, it's a really light color and I think the max is three hours to get like the full color, but I really, really like this stuff and you can get it at Ulta. And then my favorite eyebrow pencil is just the Morphe one. This is like under $10 and I get it in the color Biscotti. So this is my favorite and Ulta had like a $10 off, $40 or more purchase. So I always go through my email really quickly before I go to Ulta to see if there's any deals going on but those are covered in the usual deals that they do like the three dollars and fifty cents off like fifteen dollars or more i think is what it is but just made a olipop strawberry vanilla my favorite olipop is the strawberry vanilla and then my favorite poppy is the dog pop so good and it's been on sale at Publix for the past two weeks the poppy's been like buy one get one free and these have been two for four they're so good and i love when they go on sale but i'm about to meal prep and this week, this is why I love my workout app that I do. And I've been getting some questions recently about what I do for workouts. And I do the form app and I've been doing the form app. I've switched around a couple times, but I always find myself coming back to this app because I just love her. She's so motivating. She talks to you like she's she sees you. And I just love her energy. and just her workouts, I never get bored with them. And she is currently doing this January Jumpstart and it's a mix between Pilates and strength training, which is what I do anyway. So she has different programs on her site and different weekly schedules. So she'll do like a full five days or six days of just strength workouts, just Pilates workouts, and then a mix. And I always do the mix, but she always has like a workout schedule for you picked for the day which is nice so it's almost like a program that you can follow but if you're limited on time or if you want a longer workout or a different workout you can obviously pick from the full cool entire library that she has like the other day on friday i did like a treadmill walk and then i only had time for like a 10 minute workout so i went to her 10 minute and under section and just did a quick 10 minute full body and that was good to go and I felt amazing after. She also has dinner and lunch ideas on her app as well. But let me show you the app. This is what the app looks like. It's just called Form. And then 
She's currently just doing the Jumpstart program, so it doesn't have the other weekly schedules, but the January Jumpstart is like a mix of Pilates and strength training, like I mentioned. But um, she has all of these recipe ideas. So she has breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then desserts, things like that. So I went to her, I wanna say it was in the lunch, but she has so many like healthy different recipes on here. Okay, yeah. It's the sweet and spicy chicken bowl. And if you guys aren't a member of Forum, I'll just take a screenshot of this and I'll put it on the screen if you wanna make it for yourself. I feel like it'd be a really good, easy lunch meal prep. So that's what I'm doing for meal prep this week. Let me just go ahead and screenshot it now so I can add it later. But using rotisserie chicken, so I got two rotisserie chickens from Publix that I'm gonna cut up. And then the sauce that you put on the rotisserie chicken is honey, sriracha, and um, you could do Greek yogurt as the sauce on top of like the whole entire bowl. Um, I also got tzatziki because it has cherry tomatoes, cucumber, red onion. So I thought it would also be good with tzatziki, but the flavors might not work. But I just got a container of that. And then rice and mixed greens or lettuce. So that's what I'm gonna do for meal prep this week. And I feel like it'd be really easy. All you have to do is prep everything and combine it and cook the rice, obviously, but you can get the quick, already made, just microwave bowl rice to make it even easier. So that's what I'm doing for meal prep. I'm on this journey of trying to constantly switch things up so we're not getting bored continuously with all of the same meals that we're eating, but. 